Today we're going to be installing this Max Fan Deluxe 6401K on the top of our fifth wheel. stock fan is decent, however we want to move a little bit more air, especially when boondocking. I'm going to pre-apologize for the wind noise today, it's pretty windy out, uh, but we're going to try and get this video done anyway. The Max Fan Deluxe comes in three different levels. We got the entry level one, uh, this comes with four speeds and manual controls. As you move up to the next two tiers, you get electronic controls and up to ten speeds, um, and thermostat control as well. For the install, you'll need everything in the kit and then some sealant, as well as the necessary tools to complete the job. I'm going to be using Dicor lap sealant as well as Eternabond tape. Alright, let's go ahead and get on the roof and get this thing installed. Measure the opening of your current fan. Make sure it's 14 by 14. This is the standard size for most fans. Next, you want to make sure you have at least 8 inches to the rear of the fan to make sure that you have room for the Max Air fan to fully articulate. Next, you want to remove your fan. You want to use a plastic putty knife like this to scrape up all of the excess sealant. That way you get a nice clean install. Next, I'm going to cut the current cables. And set the fan off to the side. You wanna make sure when you're doing this wiring that the 12 volt system is turned off so you have no power coming to these two wires. Next what we're doing is crimping on the connectors. Make sure when you're doing this that you differentiate between the male and female connectors. I put the female connector on the RV positive and the male connector on the RV negative. Do the opposite on the fan. Next, we're gonna take this rooftop flange and make sure it fits over the current hole. It seems to be a perfect fit. Now we're going to take our die core and we're going to seal around the edge.
Next, we're gonna take our flange, place it where it needs to go. You wanna make sure that you have sealant poking through all of the holes to make sure that you have a good, tight seal around the entire edge. Next, you wanna take the included screws and fasten the flange down in every single screw. Once you have your flange fastened down to the roof, you want to make your electrical connection and make sure that your fan works. And our fan works. Now we're going to take the max fan and place it into the hole. Once it's been properly seated, you want to attach the two screws on either side to mount the fan to the roof flange. Now we're done on the roof. Now we need to install the garnish ring on the inside of our RV. In order to do this, you need to measure from right here to right here on all four corners. The reason you need to measure on all four corners is some RV roofs are sloped so the measurement might be slightly different. I pre-measured mine, it's four inches exactly all around. So then what you need to do is you need to add a half of an inch to that. So I'll be cutting mine at four and a half inches and then cut it to size. You'll be measuring from right here up. So I will measure four and a half inches and make my cut all the way around. Now that you've trimmed it, all you have to do is place it in there. The most difficult part about this is making sure everything gets tucked into place properly. place and your max air fan is ready to run. To test your max air fan out, you just press this button right here. This fan can be run with the lid open or closed. The last step for me is placing Eternabond tape over the entire edge 
of the seal between the roof and the fan. I'm going to do this to make sure that no water gets in.